Previously, I've spoken about both funny Dutch and English habits. But what I will show you in this video is that there are actually a lot of English words that originate from Dutch, without you probably knowing it. And this is by no means a comprehensive list, because you can go into Wikipedia and the link in the description where you'll find a lot more examples. So I'm just going to pick up on a couple of words in this video. And the first thing you should know that if you look where languages originate from, you will see that Dutch is actually right between the middle of English and German. So for the exception of Frisian, which is in the north of the Netherlands, this is the language that's closest to English. And a lot of the words you will see are written in exactly the same way. And people tend to say that the way you pronounce the words is quite similar. However, I don't tend to agree with that. So just think about the, the, the sounds that really come from the throat in Dutch. So for instance, if you say, how are you in English? And that you say, who had it? So it's really the G that kind of that comes from your throat. That's for me, the one thing that's really unique about Dutch. And that's very difficult to mimic. So everything with a G, but also words with sh in it. So in Dutch French, you have ship, but you have ship in English. So these are the kind of words that are very difficult to pronounce. So within the 1600s, the Netherlands was definitely a world power when it came to trade and ruling the seas. So it's not really a surprise that most of the words that you find in English that are of Dutch origin are somewhat related to the sea or to water. So words that you can think of like deck, dock, keel, ship, maelstrom, all of that kind of comes from Dutch. So for instance, think of the word cruiser, which was in the time associated with a warship, but not really anymore. So that came from kruisen, which is in Dutch if you cross through something. So it's kind of like a pirate ship that would go straight through another ship. It's not really surprising then that other words related to pirates kind of come from Dutch too. So think of the word uh, smuggler, which comes from the low German smuggler. So, and in that same category, if you think of the water, obviously the Dutch were able to make the polder. So we were able to make our own land from the water. Well, we've looked at water now, but what about frozen water? And you probably know that skating is one of the main sports in the Netherlands. So all the words like skate, sled, sleigh, all of these relate back to Dutch. So even in frozen water, you can see the influence of the Netherlands. But it's not just the English in the UK where there's a large Dutch influence. You will see a lot of American words actually originate from Dutch. And this is because of New Amsterdam and because they were one of the first settlers of, for instance, Brooklyn and Harlem, which I showed before also relate to places in the Netherlands, such as Breukelen and Harlem. And in a big survey, they've previously shown that around 1.5% of the American population has some Dutch heritage. So another word that I never knew came from Dutch is the term Yankee. So it comes from two really common Dutch names, so Jan and Kees. So if you put those two together, you get Yankee. So when the settlers in New Amsterdam, this used to be like another kind of term for people coming from the north. So for instance, people coming from England that were settling there. But there's many other words in American English that relate to Dutch. So what do you think of rucksack? Is it rugzak in Dutch? Koolsla, which kind of relates to a kind of type of cabbage salad. Cookie, which comes from the Dutch cookie. Or what to think of waffle, which is what we call waffle. And they say that even Santa Claus has a, a relation to Sinterklaas in the Netherlands. Another word which I didn't know was Dutch either, and I don't know whether it related to our negotiation skills uh, in America, but that's the word bluffer. So bluffing, which is mainly used in poker and it's just bragging or boasting, is also of Dutch origin. So I've spoken about the influence of the water and the influence on America. But what you will see with most of these words that they slowly change the spelling over time. So for a lot of these words, they've either lost their meaning or to me, they are spelled in such a different way that I didn't have a clue they were actually derived from Dutch. And one of the few examples, if you look at like an animal, uh, which is quite abundant in South Africa, when you talk about the wildebeest or the gnus. So wildebeest is actually one of the few examples where the spelling was never changed. So it comes from two really obvious Dutch words, which is wild, so wild, and beast, which is based. So if you just put the two of them together, this is how you get build the beast. This was only a very short selection of English words with Dutch origin. in. But if you're interested in more about the Netherlands, you can have a look at some of her strange habits and also look at this video, why the Dutch are different.